Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. To Share Talk, where I'm speaking to Guy Mayer, who's business development uh, head at uh, Cat and I Innovation. How are you today, Guy? Really well, Zach. Very well. And yourself? I'm doing okay. Um, notice that um, the market seemed to have taken your latest announcement uh, quite well. Um, could you run us through the announcement? Well, it's good. It's good news that they've taken the announcement well, and I think there are two things from the business point of view, as Tony was saying in in the announcement, um, that uh, it's great from the business's point of view to see other sectors coming in and getting interested in what we're able to offer. And if we look at the uh, image licensing sector, um, <clears throat> you know, there there's a there's a massive problem within uh, that industry in terms of photographers losing track of their images that get used globally and as a, as a result um, losing losing money and so what we're looking to do is to provide uh, agencies and individual uh, contributors so the photographers themselves with the capability to be able to lodge their copyright within our blockchain and then it becomes an indisputable fact that it's theirs. It was done on a particular day and it was lodged in a specific time. And so if there's any dispute with any user of that, they are standing on very solid ground. Um, the I, other part really... Yeah. No, sorry, sorry just to you go. interrupt you, but it, I mean, it strikes me that uh, there are many other areas that uh, your technology could be applied to, um, security services, finance, I mean, almost like you name it. Uh, uh, if you're trying to keep, keep track of things, uh, obviously retail, um, it, there's, there's so many different applications. Well, a absolutely. I mean, given that the the platform that we we, we have, um, you know, the was tested by the MPL National Physics Laboratory down in Teddington, which is where, by the way, I believe they uh, created or tested the bouncing bombs in World War Two. Anyway, so. Um, that we we can we can we can uh, process about about 23 to 30 billion transactions a day not that we ever really going to be going to hitting the buffers on that but the point being is the the, the platform is incredibly fast and so Even we can part saying, so wouldn't, wouldn't it apply to the financial area as well absolutely Absolutely. You know, you where, where you, have, you could have, you know, the whole of the FX market on it or the whole of the uh, stock exchange on it. You could have something like that. Absolutely. You know, where there are trillions of transactions going through a day, we can we could track certainly a good proportion of them. Um, you know, in the announcement also, uh, we've got interest from a, uh, a business which is uh, in the uh, inspection area with regards to uh, fire life safety, uh, which obviously is very cu uh, current, given the Grenfell tragedy and Dame Elizabeth Hackett's uh, report to Parliament, uh, interim report as of last year, but a new, uh, her latest report is out in May, so it's very, very uh, current, um, where from my limited understanding of it, the industry uh, lacks governance and it lacks uh, the surety that it would give insurance insurance companies, but also boards uh, and those people of, who are responsible, um, the knowledge that actually when a report on a particular fire life safety item, say in this case, it could be a fire alarm system or indeed fire doors um, or even cladding on the outside of a building that when it's inspected, the report is secured in our blockchain, which means no one can come along afterwards and alter it. It's there for time immemorial. Um, so that is, that's what we're looking to, we're going partnering with a existing business and running a pilot scheme so that we could actually see how this could be utilized in the industry. Because the technology, I know it's been around, well, ours has been around since the mid nineties, but in terms of commercial application is really gathering pace. Um, so that's very exciting for us. And so, I mean, how would we, I mean, given this is a new era and, and you know, private investors tend to be middle-aged and not very tech savvy. I'm speaking about myself, obviously. Um, well, me too. relate what you're doing there to, to existing businesses? Is it like pay, a payments company? Is it like uh, um, Apple Pay? I mean, what, I mean, what is it? What, what is the RAM which is like it? And how can we gauge how much upside there might be 
commercially or financially? Well, it's anywhere, any, any business where you have a, uh, any kind of transaction or uh, you know, intellectual property, or in this case, a order to report, report needs to be lodged. Um, and then if you think about that in the uh, non-digital world, that would be sitting either as a printout in a file. And, you know, if you wanted to go and find the file, you need to go and find the file and then retrieve it and then do a copy or, or get, 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 do a copy and get that over to the insurance company in this case. Uh, what we can do is we can give the insurance company or our client will give the insurance company a key which will enable them to unlock their, the blockchain and they could retrieve the file for themselves at any stage as they wanted to. So in terms of cost efficiencies, you are saving a huge amount of money uh, because we're stripping out a lot of the human resource that it takes to, to do just that. So you're, you're in a way, you're a money saver and you get a share of the, the savings that you, you, you deliver. Well, yes. I mean, our business case is very clear. We, we can, uh, the, 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 the client we're working with um, they, can, they can show the savings that their, their technology uh, makes in any event. And then, you know, the big risk to uh, an organization like a local authority, for example, um, and if we look at Grenfell, I don't want to use it because it's such a highly emotive issue and it would be distasteful to be looking to exploit that tragedy. But in that incidence, you know, the, the people who are responsible uh, to date, whether they face criminal charges is one thing or another. But in the future, they certainly will be facing criminal charges and boards will be liable for millions of pounds of fines and, in fact, could be an ex ex existential event for them in the event of something happening and then not having the due processes in place. So what we do is, in terms of providing them with a immutable record, it means they... It drives good behavior, and that's what it does. And it drives, it drives good behavior, not just, but just because of the financial savings and uh, board directors avoid uh, going to jail, uh, but it also drives good behavior because it saves people's lives. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.